Welcome back guys. I thought you guys might like to have a look at see how Chudley Valley has changed over the years because it has changed massively. Here we are back in episode one. Hadn't built anything. There's absolutely nothing here. There's no train lines. There's no trains. There's no trees. There's no tree line. There's no decorations of any description whatsoever. It's so plain and bland. Okay. Now we're gonna jump up to episode 10. So this is where I put in the first train line. And you can see the train line wending down the valley, cutting through the hills on the, on the right hand side. Little two, little two carriage trains. And then we move up to episode 20. We'd moved on a little bit. I put that road through the center and we see the, the tree line. I've started to add the tree line. And then we jump up to episode 60, where I put, you know, put in all the trees. Still got, that, still got that same line running down the side. And then this is, this is the last episode. This is episode 90. Uh, and you can see that we've got, uh, we've got little Chudley in there. Oh, and the quarry. And this is what it looks like now. After spending um, another uh, five, five and a half hours working on putting all these patchwork fields in and I've tried to keep it like as, as subtle as possible so I haven't used any bright colors in the fields just got the one plowed field we've got some we've got some animals in the fields we've got the stone quarry we've got little Chudley I'll give you a little flyby it's, um, yeah, I mean, the difference is kind of staggering. Now, it's not finished. <laughs> this is the thing, it's still not finished. I've made huge progress, but there's still a lot to do, still a lot to do. So, um, so what are we gonna do in this episode? Well, yeah, let me give you, I guess I'll give you an aerial view so you can see like lots and lots of fields broken up. I've done quite a bit of work on, on the trees as well to try and kind of break up the, the kind of tree line so that it's not just like one straight line. It's, there, are, there are differences, which there would be in the real world. So and I've tried to keep that as realistic. So like, like here, where you're in the kind of the lee of the uh, of of this kind of uh, what do you like? What would you call that? That ridge line? Yeah, ridge line. In the lee of this ridge line, the trees can grow a little bit high, higher because they're they're protected from the wind. So yeah, I've tried to tried to keep it realistic. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got a nice field of cows down here. It's about four different cow models in here. And it just, I don't know, the place is really coming to life. Um, now in, in Little Chudley down here, you'll notice we've got, we got one or two cars running around here now. Because uh, I have changed one or two of these buildings. Uh, I think this one, for example. Um, and I've, I've, I've added some people in. I wasn't going to. I was going to leave it as, as somebody, uh, somebody commented, a ghost town. But then I thought, now nah, we we do need a few cars running around just to just to make it like feel lived in. So go on, we'll we'll do a few more. I've done about I don't know, I've done some of the uh, some of the commercial buildings. Oh, I've got a collision on that one. I've put them so close together that some of them get collisions, but some of them we can put in. So we can put some people in that one. Let's maybe have some people in this one if we can fit them in. Yes, there we go. How about, how about you? You'll you'll be fine. You're not close to anything. And maybe some people in this one. And maybe this one as well. And I so I did I did some of these shops on the high street. They've got they've been uh, upgraded, so they've got people and goods now. Uh, low low per persons and low cargo but we do want a, a few cars maybe running around the back so let's put in let's see let's put in some people 
in in some of these like three or four so that one and maybe that one and maybe this one all right cool and then we start to get a few more cars running around the place and hopefully we, we should see some cars on these on these back roads after a while Alrighty, cool. So that's that. Um, now somebody said the village. We've got to have some buses in the village. And my God, you're right. My God, you're right. So um, we're gonna we're just gonna play around with Chudley Valley and kind of have a look. We'll do some. Um, we'll do a little bit of work on the quarry. We'll put we'll put some trains in, and um, I don't know. Might put might put some farm buildings in. We're gonna start off with the bus. Let's put the bus in, shall we? Yeah. Let's so let's set up a new line, shall we? have some buses running through Little Chudley. We'll go from uh, from Chudley through Little Chudley up to Aspatria. I think that'll be nice. So let's have a new line. Uh, what colour should we have this? Let's have this a nice nice green colour I think. That'd be kind of kind of nice for the valley. So a bus stop up here. Right and then we want one in the village. Now are we going to have just one in the I think just one stop in the village. I think that's fine. Do we want it like in front of the church? I think we do. Do we want an older style bus stop maybe? Or like a different one, I think. I think that kind of looks good actually. Yeah, go on, so we want we want that there. We want to stop on either side of the road, obviously. Um, that one, we only need one stop, I think, yep. And then up in Aspatria, we want a stop. Let's see, we're gonna want a stop. Um, my God, <laughs> it's a complicated little setup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. So we want something up this end. You know what? It can it can turn around here, can't it? So I think maybe we put one just like there would be fine, wouldn't it? That would work. All right, cool. So we want to go. Would go from Chudley. I could do it from Aspatria, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it from Chudley. So we want to start at New Street. Go through the village up to Aspatria and back through the village woohoo so that's High Street and that's High Street as well no that's New Street no, yeah yeah that's, that works New Street then the, the village High Street and then up to uh, Manor Road up in Aspatria and that route actually kind of works nicely I like that now, what we don't have anywhere in Chudley, in Chudley Valley, like in the whole valley, uh, we don't have uh, a depot, a vehicle depot. There just isn't one anywhere. So let's uh, let's put a depot in. Uh, what do we want? Ooh, that's an old road depot. Do you know what? Do I want an old road depot somewhere in the village? Um, I, I'm kind of in two minds about that. I was thinking that might might be kind of cool to have have that down in the village somewhere, but now I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we'll have I think we'll have it back up in in Chudley, and we'll have a new one. So I'm thinking maybe we just throw it in kind of sort of here. So if we throw it in. We throw it in like there. Uh, let's get that on high. Nice bit of flattening, make that look nice. All right, cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, there's still I, like I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm looking. At it. I, I've got to like divide these fields up and make it look like this and. Still, still, like I, I've tried to get as much done as I can, and there's still so much to do. I was working on it till like two o'clock in this morning, and I had to stop myself. Like, like if I don't stop now, I'll never get any videos out tomorrow. Right, so uh, we've got that. Now we can put some vehicles on the line. Now, what vehicles do we have that would look kind of good? And I must admit, I didn't pick up any like small bus assets. Um, I did load up. I've had this for ages. 
the caterpillar. Several people were commenting and saying, well, "You got to put the caterpillar in the stone in the stone quarry." And um, yeah, we will. And uh, but, but I've had that for ages, but I've just never found a use for it because they kind of look a bit silly, like driving around the roads. Um, so like, what could we? Yeah, let's let's just have passenger. So what could we use? I mean, we, we don't have a lot of choice at the moment. I think I'm going to have to put some Volvos on for now. I mean, bendy buses running through the village? I don't think so. I could use the old man's, but no, I think we'll put some Volvos and I'll find I'll find some nice, um, like smaller buses to put on there. So let's put on, I don't know, what do we think? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Um, it's, it's a distance eight. Set line all, line seven. This is, um, what the, so this is road passenger and it's um, Chudley to Aspatria. There we go. And here they come. Do we want a ride? I, well, I don't know. I don't know whether you want a ride. I mean, I would think you probably do want a ride, but I'm sure as hell know that I want a ride. Look, look, cows, cows in the field. I, you know what? I don't want to be riding along behind another bus, so we'll jump on the, the front bus up here. So let's jump on board with you. My God, this is... Like, is this getting photorealistic or what? Like, seriously, you could be driving, you could be, you know, <laughs> driving along somewhere in real life. Okay, there wouldn't be quite so many trains, probably. Because there's quite a lot of trains running around. Oh, what a beautiful drive. And here we come. Slow down, going through the village. Oh, and the village looks good. The village looks really, really good. The village green. Oh, oh we're going, we're going round here apparently. I don't know why we're going round here, but we're going round here. Oh, are you, are you going round here? Because you're actually going to turn round and go back. I think you are. In which case, we'll hop on another bus. But it's kind of cool that we got to go round the uh, round the village green. You got yeah. You see, so you're going to turn around, and you're going to go back that way. Well, we don't want that. We want to jump on board one of the other buses. Um, let's jump on board. Yeah, then we're following that one. But I suppose we haven't got much much choice. So yeah, we'll we'll just jump on board with this one. Right, go. They are spacing themselves out, so it's not like we're driving right up the arse end of the vehicle in front, which is kind of good. Yeah, they're spacing out. Here we go. Man, what a nice little village. Now, you don't get to see the stone quarry. Which is, um, which is like, I, I guess it's a bit of a shame. But at the same time, we're going to have other vehicles going up there. So we'll, we'll have a bit of a drive around there. Then we're out into the countryside again. Nice to see some cars driving around. And as we start to get up towards us, Patria, everything starts to get a little bit more, a little bit more sparse, a little bit more barren. Still see the odd train running around. But yeah, it's not much, not much going on out here. It's kind of a bit of a wilderness, which is exactly the feel that I want as you come up to us, Patria. I put in this um, this nice old stone bridge. I put in a couple of those. I'll show you the other one. And then we start to see Aspatria. That what I was going to say that one tall building. We've got a couple of tall buildings. Oh, we've got more tall buildings. And into Aspatria we go. 
Now, I was going to leave it there, but actually, I want to, <laughs> I want to go back through the village. Do you? Do you want to go back through the village? I'm shy sure as I'll do. Uh, is there a bus coming back the other way? You know what? I think we'll probably maybe speed it up. Let's speed it up till we get a bus coming down here. We'll, we'll go back through the village. Because <laughs> it's, it's just cool. And I want to see the first. And I want to see if you can see the cows. I don't think you can. I don't think you can see the cows from the road. I don't know. Maybe you can. But you certainly can, like, on the train. On the train, it's awesome. Going past the cows. Come on, buses. Where, where's the buses? Oh, here we go. Here's a bus. That'll do. Let's jump on board you. And off we go. I'm going to get a little bit down into the valley. And then we'll slow it down. So, here we go. Oh, man, look at the view. And now we get to see the stone quarry. Oh, this is going to be, this, like, when I do the ride videos, this is going to be one of the best freaking rides. The bus journey through Chudley Village. Oh my lord. But all of the rides around here are going to be like pretty awesome. Oh, does it? Oh, come on. Doesn't the village look good with the church? Loving it. Absolutely loving it. And you've got a good chance, like all the way down, you've got a good chance to see um, to see the mallard. Oh, we got loads of people waiting. So, a little tootle along. Do we get to see the mallard? It'd be so cool to see the mallard running along. Now, we do get to see these going along here but yeah you would see, like if the mallard was coming past you would see it wow <laughs> I mean I knew it would be pretty good I gotta say I didn't actually think it would be quite this good my god I'm loving it absolutely loving it and you know what I love the most I love the what I love the most is the fact that we have built it together it's not just me building this the feedback that I've had from you guys about do this, do that, add this in, use this mod. We have created this together. I love being able to share it with you, kind of share the experience and read your comments and see what you get excited about. Oh man, loving it. All right, that's enough, that's enough. Oh man, I want to ride the trains now. No. Nope. Haven't got time for that. We're going to have to hit the old pause button. And we're going to do a little bit of work over here. Now, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Uh, first thing I need to do, I'm going to have to take out that road and that road. And we're going to have to try and get a train station in here. <laughs> Which, yeah, it's going to be difficult. But we'll, we'll give it a try. So what do we want? We want a freight station. I think we're going to use a flexible. Now I want that track to go right to the end, like as far down as it will go. So there, I think. And if I can bring it over a fraction, I will. So I think there is where it goes. Yep, yep. I think that will work. Let's try a little bit of Raise the terrain up a little bit on either side. And then smooth it out. Shrink you down a little bit. There we go. That looks a bit nicer. All right, cool. So we've got somewhere that our trains can come into. Hooray. Uh, now this is gonna be diesel, so we don't want catenaries. And what else don't I want? Um, uh, and we want a high speed track. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Uh, why can't I, oh, seriously, I can't apply it. <laughs> seriously, why are these things so difficult? Um, yeah. 
destroy it. We'll put it back in again. So let's try that again. This time without catenaries and a high speed track. I thought that would be easy to just change that, but no, apparently, apparently not. Um, I'm just going to have a look. Am I? I think I'm quite parallel. Let's move you round a fraction. That's better, I think. And in you go. I'm going to move it forward a tiny, tiny bit. There. All right. A little bit smoothing at uh, this end. Just take the nastiness off. All right, cool. Okay, now the difficult bit of trying to get this track <laughs> to hook up onto this track, uh, which is, and I hadn't thought of this, but somehow the, tr the trains have got to cross onto the other track. Yeah. I haven't really thought this through. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna have to do, um, oh, and of course I've got the blooming elevated stuff going on oh no let's see we've got we've got the trains coming across it i think we i think it's gonna have to happen kind of back here yeah it's gonna have to happen back here so what, what we'll do we'll have uh catenaries no we'll have a bit of track coming around like that then what i want to do is hook it onto this track like that and then hopefully, yeah, change that to a double slip switch. Yes, hooray. So that means these trains can either go straight on or they can get onto this sideline. All right, cool. So what do we want to do now? We want to run this track. Now this is going to be single track round here into the quarry. Um, yeah. yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, bum, 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 bum. How the hell am I going to do this? This is a very good question. I am. Um, yeah, I've not. I've actually no idea how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I guess it's going to come around like that. Is it going to be? Is it going to be elevated? It is, but I don't want it to be elevated quite that much. Now, something like that I could live with. Yeah, go on. Let's do. Let's try that. Now, what happens if I then just hook that up to there? Go on, go on, do something great. No. Nope. No, so you're going to have to come out more like that kind of thing. Uh, but not that high. Maybe something like that might work. Let's try that. Are you coming out enough? Yes, yes, success. Oh, that's going to look awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Right, we want a little bit of smoothing along here. Just take this, these ridiculous peaks off. Now, do I kind of leave that so that it's going around like, I think maybe, I think maybe we leave that like that. I kind of like that. What do you think? Oh, and look at this. Oh, this is going to be so sweet coming in here. Down into the quarry. Freaking perfect. All right, cool. Uh, so, having got that bit done, now the, the issue here is going to be the signals. Because what we're going to have to do is set a signal. Um, what the hell am I doing? I want signals, you idiot. Uh, I want a signal, and we're gonna have to put a signal like here. It's gonna be a modern signal. Yeah, so we'll have to put a signal there, and then we won't have any signals on this, so that this is one piece of track, so that the trains can go in, and they have to come out before another train can go in. All right, that works. And then we're gonna need um, a signal here to stop them before they go onto that section, and so we'll have, um, and we're going to need a signal up here for these trains going that way. So that they stop to allow this one to go onto there. 
And we've already got that one to stop them, to allow them to go across there. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so signaling, done. Whew. Okay, so now we're onto this track. So we go up here to this station. Now, the issue here is um, to, the trains are going to have to somehow get onto here and then come out again. Now, hang on a second. Um, I don't think we're using this middle platform. That works perfectly, if that's the case. So look, yeah, we're not using this at all. So yeah, this middle platform. So bum, 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 we want to hook this up onto here, kind of nice and smoothly if we can. Something like that would be good. Boom. And same deal onto this side. Um, and if I could get it at, like to hook up to exactly the same place, that'd be even better. Where's the... Oh, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. I could just see it there. There we go. That'll do. Boom. Oh, nice, nice, nice. God, this has worked out easy. I thought this was going to take... I thought this was going to take me ages, but that's worked out really nicely. Okay, so... What do we want to do now? We want to set up a line, don't we? Yeah, another line going in. Because because we haven't got anywhere near enough lines. What are we shipping? We're shipping stone, so I might make this like gray or something. I don't know how well that's gonna show up, but we'll see. So we want to just go from this station, Chudley Exchange, to, and I need to change the name of that station, to here, Chudley Halt, and that's it. Um, do I, I, you know what? I've got rusty with this game. Do I actually need to say go back to... No, I don't. Of course I don't. There we go. So we've got the line, and it's just going to go backwards and forwards. Now, I could get trains to stop here to pick up the, uh, the, um, the construction materials. And I'm thinking that's probably the best idea. And that would allow me to use some some dedicated um, stone or ore trucks on the trains, which would be kind of super sweet. Right, so we need to get some trains on here. How 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 am I going to get some trains on here? Because I haven't got any depots like along here. Um, my God, have I got any way of getting them? No, no, because I ripped all the depots out. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, I'll have to put a depot in somewhere. Um, let's put in a little a little temporary depot somewhere. Where? That's the question. Maybe, okay, like maybe over here. I'm going to squeeze something in over here. So if we just run a little spur off here. Yeah, it's fine. Boom. Pop in a depot. Train, depot. Flip you around that way. Oh, gotta go all the way around. There we go. That'll do. I, 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 one of the things that I do need to do, I need to start adding some little buildings and stuff along the railway tracks and putting in sidings and like um, and have some trains parked in sidings and stuff like that. There's seriously, there's so much to do. Buy trains. Uh, what am I going to have? Locomotive. Uh, I want a diesel locomotive and I want something that looks kind of cool. I want I want a nice workhorse type train. A, a GP40 would be kind of perfect for this, I think. So I think, I think we're going to go with maybe one of these, one of these chassis system ones. Unless I can spot a, no. I mean, that's nice. I like that one. Um, I've got so many of these. Now, I, that's, I, yeah, I think that's I think that's the one. I think that's going to look good. Kind of match it, like the yellow with the with the caterpillar and stuff like that. I think it kind of works, don't you? So we'll have one of those, and then we want some freight trucks. Did it? Did do? Where's my ore trucks? Now I've got some of these Russian trucks but they only carry like grain and slag which is a blooming shame um, we've got that those are grain and slag again 
they're really nice but now we've got these again grain and slag <laughs> where where's something that will actually carry some stone uh, I think maybe some are, oh, these are sliding walls. We don't want those. Um, like seriously, where's a, a, a decent, these hoppers will carry stone. I could use these, they're, they're kind of nice these. And we've got these hoppers as well. Um, but I, I'm like, I'm tempted to go with like the smaller ones, but I might mix it up a little bit. You know what, what if we have like a couple of those, then one of those, then maybe, uh, how long is this? Because we don't want this to be a long train, like max 160. So I'm thinking maybe finish it off with a like, couple of those. That's kind of perfect. That'll do. That'll do. Have we really got any more ore trucks? I don't think I have. I need more ore trucks. We've got these. These will carry stone. These are open hoppers as well. You know, I'm, I'm kind of te I'm kind of tempted to change to these. Um, this is the straight open wagon. Now we'll live with that. We'll live with that. We'll go with that. So um, we want. What do you think? Now I, I'm not worried about this like producing massive quantities because we've already got loads of construction materials. So I'm thinking one. Maybe two. Go on, we'll do two, I suppose. Clone vehicle. And set you on line seven. Boom. Now this is gonna be Chudley Stone, isn't it? Yeah. So this is gonna be, this is train freight. Chudley Stone. Boom. In you go. Uh, have I got this going the right way? I think I have. Right, go. Okay, you're not moving, which means... Oh, you're waiting for a free path, which probably means you're waiting for a train to come through. Uh, should we put in a little signal? Yeah, go on, let's put in a little signal. A little signal there. I just want to see it move. I'll be much happier when I see it move. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're going onto the wrong track. Um, so... Yeah, let's let's change that, shall we? And have you going over there? There we go. That'll do. Boom. And I'll put my signal in again. There we go. Although it's ignoring the signal now. Oh, are you gonna? Oh, major train accident. So, yeah, you get out of the way. This will be fine hauling this. The only problem is these are closed hoppers. I think open hoppers would be better. You know what, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change it. Uh, where's Chudley Stone? I mean, they look, they, I, they do look kind of cool, but I just think we can come up with something better. So what do I want? I want replacement. Um, and let's, shall I? Yeah, I'm gonna pause it, because I wanna ride the train. Uh, we're gonna change it, so we'll stick with the same locomotive because that looks cool like that but the freight wagons I think maybe we'll switch to these so because these are open so let's have like let's have like a couple of those one of those yeah that carries stone but one of those just to be a little bit different then we'll have just some some ordinary open wagons these coal hoppers they'll only carry coal unfortunately it's a shame be a nice bit of stone in there um, let's have three of those and then we'll finish it off with these yeah I think so boom, boom. that's perfect good length all right on replace now yes alrighty do we want to ride on this train I think we probably do so jump on board go and I'm just gonna speed it up because we want to get up there. I mean, the, the bit that we want to see, really, is like coming out of the station so that we get the look down the valley. And that'll do, right. 
So, yeah, we want this view down the valley, which is kind of sweet. This is really good. It does give you the feeling that you're in a heavily forested, kind of wildernessy area, which is, the, which is the feel that I want for this place. And then the other bit that we're really going to want to see is going into the stone quarry, because that's going to be sweet. And then we'll put some caterpillars in, driving around. That's going to be the next cool thing. The Chudley Valley is, is possibly my favourite place in the world right now. I absolutely love it. Okay, so little whiz through here. Then I'm guessing... I love the way you hear it power up. We're going to have to wait here for this train. Oh my god, all the signalling and everything. I mean, god, if you like trains, this is... It's just the best thing ever, isn't it? Here we go. So a last little run down here. Round the corner. I might have to take some of these trees out because I want to be able to see more of the valley. So yeah, I'll take some of those trees out. But now we get a lovely view down the valley. Over an old stone bridge, nice. Now I wonder if we'll get a view of Little Chudley as we go round here. Oh, no, no, can't quite see Little Chudley. But look at that, nice view. Oh yeah, we think we get, we do, we get to see Little Chudley. Power up. Here we go. A little bit of elevated track. Yeah, slow down. Slow down for the curve. And then pulling in round here. We've got stone stacked up, ready to go. That needs to be smoothed a little bit. And there we are, into the quarry. What a freaking awesome view. Oh, <laughs> this just gets better and better. All right, you know what? Um, I'm going to let it turn round. But then that'll be it. This is awesome. Oh man, couldn't you just ride around on these freaking trains all day? Oh god, I would love to. I would love to, but you know what? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to pass on that. Right, let's get some trucks driving around here. How we're gonna do this, like, don't even ask. I have no freaking idea how we're gonna do this. Um, so like like what am I even gonna do? I want some kind of freight station. Um which I'm probably going to have to put, like, up here, I would think. So, I'd, like, if I get, like, the smallest one, one terminal, we're length one. Yeah, we want, like, two-way. Uh, no, one-way. Um, I'll just have, like, a wire fence. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, go away. I'm gonna have to get rid of these. Get rid of all of those. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of that Eddie Stobart truck as well, but we'll see. Um, so what was I doing? Yeah, I was putting this in, wasn't I? Yeah. So we want that, I would think, something like that yep then now the, the trick here is going to be getting this stuff to like drive around the whole site and we just want like i don't know maybe two or three of these just driving around now um i want a road going into the site like that and then that can be hooked up to this can i change the roads on here to something less tarmac-y. Where are we? We want um, 
Let's go straight. Old. Uh, right side straight. Old. Yeah. And then we want top side straight. Old. Street type. We'll go with small. But I can't change that the type of that street, I don't think. Which is a shame. No. Nope. No, nope. well, that's a, that's as good as I can do. But that's alright. That's alright, that'll do. So let's get this. Right. Now somebody was um, somebody commented and said, "Oh, you should use invisible roads." But I actually I actually want these because you kind it kind of looks like tracks and whatever, and I think we want that driving around here. Because you would have this kind of thing. Somebody actually showed me some some images of um, of stone quarries, and it is like seriously, it is staggering how like realistic this is. Unbelievable! I couldn't believe it because I I didn't look at any pictures before I did this. I just kind of did like yeah, I, yeah just do it kind of like this. It'll be fine. Is that? And it's it disturbed the surface a bit as well, which is good because it was like looking like way too flat before. Um, I'd actually like to uh, like manipulate it a little bit more, but it's kind of difficult. Um, let's get let's get you on low, and let's just put a few little terrain alterations in, just so that it's not quite so damn flat. That looks better. Looks better. All right, so now that we've got this in, um, I've got to hook it up on this side, which means that that truck has got to go. Goodbye. We will hook you up to, I guess, to there. All right, cool. So um, now it's a case of putting in like some waypoints and getting these things driving around. Okay, well, after a lot of messing around, um, I've got a, I've got a line in that goes kind of everywhere. Um, I found there's a problem with this road. I can't get these routes to go down this road. They just won't. They just won't connect. So, um, so I've had to put in this little this little section over here, which um, which puts in some nice barriers. I thought that'd be kind of cool. And plus, it'd be really cool if the trains come into the station and there's one of these caterpillars like waiting. Like, that would be really cool. So, should we get some caterpillars on? Let's get some caterpillars on. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I want, oh, seriously, can I not select you now? Uh, come on. Ah, uh, I think it's under the, yeah, it's under the, oh, I can, I can still get you though. There we go. Buy road vehicles. And, what do we want? We want caterpillars. Uh, stone. Yep. Stone ones. How many do we want running around here? I'm thinking like five or six. Should I, should I put like six and then we'll kind of like just see how it goes. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to start it up. Uh, I'm going to set it on fast and then I'm going to release these one. I, I just sold that, didn't I? I didn't want to sell that. Uh, what I want to do is put them onto the line one at a time. Um, Oh, have I got to put them all? You know what? Let's just put let's just put them all on, and then I'll I'll slow them down. So, if I tell you, uh, which I can't, I can't get it. If I get underneath the texture, then I should be able to click on this vehicle. Ah, uh, here we go. So, if I tell you to stop, one, two, three, four, five. Right, you can go. You can stop. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then you can stop. You can go. Oh, let's stop you as well. Give it a few seconds. Uh, let's let that one go. That's fine. Give that a few seconds. And that one can go. Give that a few seconds, and that one could go. All right, let's get rid of all of those, and let's see how it looks now with a bit of activity with the cat pillars running around the place. Oh, yes. 
We've just brought the quarry to life. Should we, uh, should we slow them down a bit? There we go. Uh, look much more realistic when they're... Oh, and they actually tip. Oh, man. Oh, well, come on. It doesn't get much better than that. Should we follow one? Let's just follow one for a bit. So, let's just, let's just follow you. They're a bit clean. They'll look a lot better when they're uh, when they're dirtied up. But the sound is awesome. Yeah, they definitely need to be a lot dirtier. And obviously they need to space out and stuff, but. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's seriously awesome. You know what? Let's 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 stop you. There we go. Let's let it space out a bit. Now see, there's another one right behind that. That's the problem. I should I should have given him more time to to space out. There we now, see, now I want to stop you, and then I'll bet the one behind you catches up. Yeah, the one behind you is going to catch up now. Need to stop that one. And then the one behind that's going to catch up. Which is probably that one. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I should just let them spread out on their own, because they will spread out. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, let's speed it up. Give them a chance to kind of speed up a bit. Because they'll just, they'll just delay a little bit when they go into the depots just to space themselves out. But it's kind of cool seeing them all running around, going different routes. Here we go. One going in there. Yeah, they're all, they're all bunching up a little bit, actually. Come on, space yourselves out, boys. But you know what? I love it. I love it. Especially like like when you've got it on normal speed and they're just driving around at a kind of leisurely pace around the place. It's awesome. It's awesome. You know what? Have I actually got them going around there? I don't think I have, you know. Let's have a look. No, I haven't actually got them driving around there and they definitely need to go around there. So, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that one last thing. So, if I put in... I'll put in a couple of waypoints just in case. So after you go, let's see, after you go to Chudley Hall, which is this one, um, or should be that one. Oops, let's close that down. Which one's, which one's Chudley Hall? Yeah, that is Chudley Hall. So what we actually want it to do is go like through that one. Yeah, there we go. So now they'll go through here, drive around there, and then go out that way. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at him. Look at him buzzing around the place. That is so sweet. You know, the thing is, I want to see what actually go through here. It's such a long route, though. <laughs> oh, man. This quarry is awesome. I love it. God, this was such a good idea. Thank you to the person who inspired me to do this. I'm trying to figure out, like, when's one actually going to go into this area? It is a hell of a long route, though. Like, all around. Oh, you, no, no, you've got to go around there. Where are you going? You going? No, no. No, you're going around there. <laughs> Man, when is one of them actually going to get to go? Oh, now, are you? Yes? Uh, oh, you're going around there. So you're going to go into there, I think. Yeah, you're going to go into there. And then you're gonna come out of there. And then you're gonna go up there. Right, you, pause. Normal speed, and we'll have a quick drive around with you. I might put in, I might put in a second route, which, uh, which just has what, one truck just driving around here. I think that might be kind of nice. But yeah, they definitely need to be dirtier, don't they? But once they age a few years, 
I think they'll look much better. Oh, that tipping mechanism is just the icing on the cake, isn't it? So here we go. You're going to drive out of here. And then you're going to do a quick circuit. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. I'm going to have to look around and see if I can find some other stuff to put around here. I could definitely find some stuff like some, I don't know, some cranes or something around the place. Well, there you go. We're going to leave it there for this episode with the quarry brought... Oh, and there's a train coming in as well. The quarry well and truly brought to life. Chudley Valley looking pretty sweet and awesome. And we've got buses running up and down through the village now. And, of course, more construction materials around the place, which is just awesome. So, uh, like, a, a tiny bit of EPEC. We actually did a bit of EPEC in this episode. Guys, we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this, because, man, this is, this is just a total labour of love for me. I love it. I will catch you for the next one. Peace out. <laughs>